This could be one of the most exciting video series I do over the next year. Why? Because it's all about buying your next RV. What are the steps that you need to take? How do you figure out which RV it is you want to buy? And what are the steps that you go through to really figure it out, hone in on it, to get that right RV? Let's face it, it's all about making memories. And with this video series right now, we're gonna walk you through the steps on how to buy your next RV. This is Geared Up To Go RVing with Mike Caudill. The RV industry offers an option for every budget and every lifestyle. The first question you have to ask yourself is, do you want a motorhome or a towable? The beauty in doing your homework at the very beginning helps prepare you for the type of RV you might want to consider buying. So whether you want to get something like this that's over my shoulder, which is a class A, it's big, it's meant for the open road, you can take it cross country, or do you want to get a little bit more granular in understanding what it is you want to do? Maybe you want something like a fifth wheel. The key to it is understanding what your adventure is that you want to pursue. So how do you do it? The first step is you've got to figure it out by going to GoRVing.com. And why is that important? Because they're going to tell you the difference between a Class A, a Class B, a Class C, and the variables that go along with it. As you sit down to do your homework, ask yourself a series of questions. For example, what kind of RVer are you? What kind of adventures do you see yourself going on? When you close your eyes and imagine the perfect RV trip, what do you see? The mountains of Montana or the beaches of Florida? Do you know the differences between the RV categories? They're going to give you the difference between a Class A, Class B, Class C, travel trailer, fifth wheel, and all the variables. What type fits you? How many people do you plan to travel with in your RV and how much space do you need? Are there key features that you know you'll need when you're traveling? Do you want to work from the RV? These are all things to consider as you sit down to do your homework. It's vitally important to understand why you should buy your RV from a trusted dealership, not from a private party. Dealerships are proficient at finding and presenting the best financing options for you. When buying from a private party, you have to figure out how to finance the vehicle yourself, which can be confusing. And you may not receive the competitive rates that a dealership can provide you. Most dealerships offer extended warranties and provide you with multiple warranty options. When you buy from a private party, the vehicle is as is, and any costly repairs on your coach will fall squarely on you. Additionally, dealers continue to serve customers far beyond the purchase date. Having a relationship with your salesperson and local dealer dealer, along with service, will go a long way. When buying an RV, think about the total cost of ownership, not just the cost of the RV itself. So you have to think about gas, storage, and potential maintenance costs as well. Now that you've done all the research and you have a really good idea as to what it is you're looking for, it's time to have a little bit of fun and go shopping. Hey, well, thanks for taking a minute and checking out our video. We truly enjoyed putting it together for you. If you liked this video, you know, hit that subscribe button. Provide some comments as well. If you have questions, we'd love to answer them for you. Even share it to some of your friends. If you're following Go RVing and Go RVing with the Caudills, we have a host of other videos for you to take advantage of as well. For now, I'm Mike Caudill with Geared Up to Go RVing.